Hi. In uh, this second video, we're going to talk about the interest rates, uh, both types, the symbol interest rate and the compounded interest rate. Started with uh, starting with a symbol interest rate. This is a uh, uh, this is an, an a charges that has been charged or is willing that companies are willing to charge you uh, without considering the time value of money. Uh, and this is not common. We don't use it. We don't see it in the banks. When you go to the bank, you, they will not charge you a symbol interest rate. They will charge you a compound interest, compounded interest rate. Uh, so, but what we need to do, we have to learn about the symbol interest rate before before we move on to the next uh, type of the compounded interest rate, which is the most commonly used in uh, in real life. The symbol interest rate can be calculated by by multiplying the principal time the rate. This is what is the interest that you're going to pay for that specific period. So, and now. If it's more than one year or one more than one period, so the total interest earned or paid depends of if you are a lender or uh, investor, if you are a lender or um, somebody who's taking the loan, uh, the total interest would be calculated by the P, the principal, interest rate times the interest rate times the number of periods. Now the total amount, which is the future value, how much you will need to pay after a specific amount of years. That would be F equal P plus the P times I times N. Okay, let's take examples that would be more easy and more fun than just uh, going over the equations because if you don't apply the equations and I would recommend you guys to have a paper and pencil in front of you or an Excel sheet just to you know practice take notes and uh, this way you will uh, have a better understanding of the topic okay let's move on to the second to the third example which is about uh, the symbol interest rate Sama has borrowed ten thousand dollars from her friend Linda to buy a vehicle Linda agreed to give her the money back after three years at a simple interest rate of 7.3%. Calculate the total interest that Sama has to pay at the end of three years. How much she has to pay at the end of year three. Okay, using this equation, the total interest paid for the three years would be P times I times N. And I need you to be familiar with these annotations, P, I, N, F, the future value. Uh, and uh, we will learn more in this chapter, more annotations and more shortcuts. So our future value would be um, P plus P times I times N. Okay, let's find the total interest rate paid would be the principal, the P, 10,000 times the interest rate, 7.3%, 7 7 and you have to uh, change it into a decimal format times the three years, and in this way, um, SEMA paid $2190 uh, $2 paid for uh, interest as a simple interest rate over the three years. So $2190 what has paid as only fees. This is only the interest charges over the years, over the past three years. Now, uh, what we need to do, add this amount, whatever you came, whatever you found from that equation, whatever the interest charges, plus the original amount or the principal, which is the 10,000. 10,000 plus the 2,190, that would be 12,190, what SEMA has to pay for, uh, for Linda. Okay, let's uh, see if we could use Excel here very quick I'm trying to make short videos so you guys don't get bored um, so wh what we have we have uh, 10,000 that's the P and we have N of three years and we have 7.3 uh, percent uh, for the I the interest rate and now what we need to do we need to find the future value and F equal uh, as I mentioned, P, ta uh, uh, P plus open parenthesis, P times I times N. Close the parenthesis. Okay. Now start with the equal. The principal is 10,000. Or what you could do, you could just select this. Plus open parenthesis, select the 10,000 again. Times I. I would be 0.7.3% 
if you put the percentage, the XO will calculate it for you, will we'll figure it out for you in the decimal places. Times the end, the three years, close the parentheses, click enter, and you will get the 12,190. It's easy, fun using Excel, but you need to focus a little bit on uh, on what factors you need to implement in these equation and how we could calculate that. Uh, of course you need to do some formatting issue so uh, the future value would be uh, 12,000 so uh, kind of the formatting this is should be a dollar sign this is should be a dollar sign uh, bring a table uh, click on the borders add borders maybe you need to add a thicker outside border uh, you could a uh, bolding this um, annotation and uh, and change the background maybe you could I like the gray for this kind of uh, equation so this way we could have a better understanding of course what you need to do is to have a complete answer is just insert a text where it says uh, just a short sentence like uh, summer will pay 12,000 $190 after three years just uh, something that to uh, let me know that you you understand what you're doing uh, it's uh, it's really important and you could change the format as well make it a little bit bigger uh, uh, change the uh, background okay so this is for example three let's move on see if there's another example and yes we do and this time what we have to do we have to uh, we have to uh, calculate the symbol interest rate okay so symbol interest rate can be calculated uh, symbol uh, calculate the symbol interest rate on a, f a 15,000 principle so let's do uh, 15,000 that's a principle interest we need to we need to find the I we don't know about it and now um, the future value what has paid after six years is 19,500 and that's n equal to six years okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna exactly use uh, this equation that we used in the previous example we put we'll put it here control C control V okay uh, so we F equal P plus P times I times N uh, and so you start with a F okay do we have F yes we do so F is 19 500 P do we have P yes we do P is we don't we don't want to put the um, equal for now because we have a missing variable which is I will uh, will type it as as a text here so 15,000 plus open parenthesis 15,000 times I do we have it no this is what, what we're looking for times n6 close it okay now what you need to do subtract 15,000 from both sides that would leave you with 4,500 equal to 15,000 times 6 that would be 90,000 so 90,000 I times I and I now is equal to 4500 divided by 90,000 1 2 3 and make sure to put the equal because we needed this as an equation here in the last step so that would be a 5% interest rate uh, right let's just uh, do the formatting and this is a percentage 5% make sure you have a decimal uh, and you could play it a bit make this bigger excellent so I is equal to 5% now there's another example that I just gonna go over it very quick uh, here 
I don't want to do it using Excel, but very similar. Calculate the number of years this time that you need to pay seven thousand dollars loan that is paid nine thousand four hundred and fifty uh, with a simple interest rate of five percent. So what we did, we put the equation F equal P plus P times I times N. Uh, F is forty um, uh, ninety ninety four fifty equal the 70,000 plus 70,000 times 5% the interest rate times n and this is one equation uh, equation with one variable then that would give you uh, n equal to 2450 divided by 350 and this is seven years so in order to pay back this loan you need seven years uh, at 5% symbol interest rate Okay, now moving on to the compound interest rate. This is the most common type that we see. The compound interest rate is considering the time value of money and um, there should be some charges on the top of unpaid interest and unpaid principal. So let's summarize it by interest over interest. So you, you have to pay interest on the top of interest and this is what, how we consider the time value of money. Uh, and we could use this equation 3.6 principal plus all accumulated interest times the interest rate uh, but the future value or the how much you have to pay or, more, or how much you have to earn would be uh, P times 1 plus I to the power of N if you're looking into the original amount the principal you you could calculate based on this equation F times 1 plus I to the power of negative N okay let's take an example um, very quick example here. The example, Sema in example three has borrowed 10,000 from her uh, friend Linda to buy a vehicle. Linda agreed to give her the money for three years, but this time at a compounded interest rate of 7.3%. Calculate the total interest rate that Sema has to pay at the end of three years. How much she has to pay at the end of year three. All right, now let's do uh, what we're gonna do. There are two options for us. One is to do a year by year, which is you find out how much Sema owes at the end of year one, then how much Sema owes at the year two, at the end of year two, and how much Sema owes at the year three, and this is gonna be the answer. Or you could use the, um, the equation, which is the F equal P times one plus I to the power of N, which is very simple, easy, but uh, for this, just to uh, let you understand the concept, I'm going to go with a step-by-step, year-by-year, and show you what we do. So, in year, and this one, uh, the, uh, for a year, the amount that she owes after year one, so that would be P plus P uh, times I times N, 10,000 plus 10,000 times the 7.3% times one. So, at the end of year one, she will be paying or she would be owing, she owes $10,730. And now this is the amount, uh, see if we could um, find a marker here. Okay, this amount, the 10730 is the gonna be the new original amount for the next year because she did not pay anything and in the compound interest rate we charge interest over interest so you need to consider this as a the new principal amount so 10730 plus the 10730 times the 7.3 percent times one year because we're going to calculate the uh, charges for one year or what's what she owes for one year at the end of the year and then that will give you the 11 1513.29 you use this as the original amount here for the uh, for the principal as on the third year so 11513 plus 11513 times 7.3% uh, which is the interest rate times one year that would give you $12,353 uh, so but if we're going to use it in one equation, one step, we, we could use the F equal P times 1 plus I to the power of N. That would be 10,000 times 1 plus 7.3% to the power of 3 because we need the total amount after 3 years. That would be give you the same answer, 
and fifty four dollars and you could use Excel for that as well so what you could do you could create a cell with a principal of 10,000 interest rate 7.3 percent and three years and you say equal you start with the equal uh, uh, the principal would be the 10,000 this is the E12 right here the the cell E E12 in, in blue times 1 plus I which is the 7.3 percent times or to the power of uh, 3 so this would be give you the same answer okay I'm gonna stop right here and we're gonna create another video just to make it uh, short we're gonna start with a cash flow diagram